here from the net, it works! And the momentum takes Brenny Stewart over. Hello and welcome inside the England camp here at Penny Hill Park after our win at Twickenham yesterday. What a good win it was. I'm Danny Kerr and this is O2 Inside Line Live. Come on. Come on. Big show. We've got a big show tonight and unfortunately, quite sad, it's, it's the last show, guys. It's the last show for camp. Uh, but hopefully, we'll roll this on. We can roll this on and use the same presenter, would be great. Um, so as always, over the next half an hour, we'll be catching up with two of my, two of my teammates. and we've, we've, got, we've got a delightful couple for you. And an opportunity for you again to win some stash. I think we're going to throw in a ball. I've just decided we're going to throw a ball yeah. and a shirt in today for the best question. Remember to get your question in, use the comment section, hashtag wear the rose, best question. And a bit of a, a, bit of a new thing we're doing here. We're actually going to have a couple of video calls tonight. So... Ooh. As the lottery says, it could be you. So get your uh, get your questions in. Um, Shall we get a couple of guests Let's in? Let's do it. Yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. Shall we? Let's, go. Let's, do it. Let's first. This guy is a beautiful specimen. It's the Romanian He-Man. It's Theo Dan. Get in here, big guy. Hello, right, sir. Theo, welcome. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. You look glorious. Shall we bring a mate? Do you want to bring a mate? Uh, yeah. You yeah, want to? Should we bring him in? This must come off, buddy. It's Alex Mitchell, everybody. You. You're both looking well, Mitch, with the gilet. It's always the play, mate. Yeah, it's always the play. I like your style. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you're, you. A, you're, a, you're a stylish individual, <laughs> aren't you? Uh, boys, welcome to the show. Thank you for joining us. Firstly, how are the bodies, and can you put into words just how special yesterday felt? Mitch, start with you, please. It was awesome, wasn't it? Uh, I mean, body's fine, um, <clears throat> but yeah, the whole of, whole of yesterday was, was massive, really, I think. I love the week, how underdogs, uh, no one really gave us a chance and then we showed up and, and did a performance and got the win. So yeah, um, love Twickenham, love the atmosphere. It was buzzing, wasn't it? So yeah. Really Played good. all right as well, didn't he, guys? He's great. Yeah, he's did very well. Right, right, guys. Did. Did. did very, very well. And Theo, for you, you were on the pitch at the end. We're going to talk a little bit more about that later on, but one of your most favourite moments of your career so far, would you say? 100%. I'd, I'd, I can't think of a better moment, really. I think... Especially the way we won that game, we were in it until the very end. Um, and then I was quite close to Marcus, and seeing him slot that drop goal over, it was uh, it's one of those like pinch me moments when you're looking around like Twickenham. I've never never felt Twickenham be as as buzzing as that. Like you really felt the ground shake. Uh, oh, it's brilliant. Special food. I'm getting goosebumps thinking about <laughs> it. Agree. Uh, any celebrations after the game, boys? Did you did you did you keep it quiet? Did you have early nights? Uh, myself, yeah, pretty relaxed. I think we had a couple of drinks, didn't we? Mm. Um, I think a few boys did stay up. Yes, know. yes, they did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, they did. Um, and we're here working. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do here. Theo, so yourself, a couple? Yeah, stayed up, stayed up for a couple. Nice. Um, obviously, you celebrate the big man himself on the 100. Yeah, it was um, nice. Yeah, it was nice. Special moment, that. It's not about me, mate. It's not about <laughs> me. Um, right, boys, first off, bit of a tradition on here. We're playing a game that we like to call fact or fiction. So you're gonna be, there's going to be two truths and one fake fact, i.e. fiction, about the other person. So first up, um, Theo, you're going to go first. We're gonna, I'm going to say three facts about Mitch. You've got to decide which one isn't true. Okay. <laughs> Fact number one, Alex has represented England at every age group, under 16, 17, 18, 20, and obviously now yeah. he's the main man in the senior team. Fact number two, Alex was 11 years old when he, 
when I made my debut for England. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, guys, for that one. Okay. Fact number three. Alex and his brother James had the nicknames of Phil and Grant at school after the famous EastEnders Mitchell brothers. Oh, oh Phil. Oh. So there's, there's one. One of them is it's fake. Fiction. Okay. Fiction. Every age group, I reckon that's true. You're a bit of a nose, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, then, cheers, mate. Yeah, that's the um, <laughs> second one was uh, that, he, yes, he was 11 years old. <laughs> 11 years old. When I made my debut for England. Can we do some maths or does it have to be off the cuff here? I think you've got to, we haven't, we haven't got all the time in the world, Phil, so. <laughs> you could get to your answer quickly. 26, mate. Yeah, that's about right, yeah. Okay. And then the last one, fact. I mean, who's given you that nickname? Nah, yeah, that's got to be yeah. fake. Okay, Mitch, could you reveal the... The third one is fake, mate, yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good, good. well yeah. done. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, you don't really look like either of the Mitchell ones. Say, yeah. You have a lot of hair. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay, well done. Well done, Theo. Okay, uh, Mitch, now your turn about Theo. Okay. Fact number one, Theo started his playing career at centre and wing, but was convinced to convert to hooker when at the Saracens Academy. Fact number two, Theo is also eligible to represent Romania, Wales and Georgia through family ancestry. Fact number three, Theo's grandfather played tight head prop in the Romanian first division. Oh, tricky these. Oh, that's three. a tough one. I think he could have played centre uh, or wing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, oh. Third one. I think the third one is true because you have got some Romanian heritage. I think. So I think the second one. What was that? I don't think you can play for Wales. Romania, Wales, and Georgia. So you're going to go with fact two. I think is fact actually two fiction. is fiction. Yeah. Theodore. He's bang on. He's bang yeah. on. Well, He's bang, bang on. on. <laughs> Bang on. But who, what, can you talk us through your ancestry quickly? Yeah, so uh, basically my whole family's from Romania. Both my parents are fully Romanian. Um, so most of my family are actually back there. So we go back a lot. Yeah. Um, were you born? Were you born in no, Romania? No, born, born, born in the here. UK. Yeah. Um, so my parents moved to the UK a few years before I was born. Um, so yeah. Lovely people as well, if they're watching. Shout out. <laughs> uh, okay, so both boys, well done, you nailed it. Um, Mitch, speaking of your age, in fact or fiction, uh, a little birdie tells me you've, be, you've been a big fan <laughs> from an early age, as this picture may have you suggest. got the photo, have you? I think we do have the photo coming up now. <laughs> so I must have been around 11, 12 then. Yeah, I, yeah mean, I remember, you used to be my idol, well you still are my idol. Oh. 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 I think I remember getting the lads and be like, that's Danny Kerr, that's Danny Kerr, let's get a photo. And then, I think it was Roslyn Park 7s that was. So, yeah, 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 that's okay. that. so you, that was when you were 11, so that uh, is 11, what, 12, 15 yeah. years ago. Yeah, how mental is that? Wow, yes, thank you. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Right, boys, we, we touched on it earlier, but um, we've got to talk a little bit more about yesterday. Uh, it was... An amazing win for us. Uh, the team's been through a, f a fair bit in the past few weeks. A lot of stuff's happened. Let's just have a look at a couple of the final moments. And can you just talk through your emotions? Theo, we'll start with you because you're, you're on the pitch at the time. We should look at this here. Yeah, that, that was... Uh, it felt like in real life that was going in slow motion as well. Yeah. Um, and I was close to Marcus. And honestly, when I went through, I just sprinted to him. Uh, and yeah, I mean... Absolute chaos there. Absolute <laughs> chaos. Proper limbs, isn't it? There's limbs everywhere. Look at this. Look at him go. He loves a fist pump. He loves he? it. He's very good at it, Mike. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Looks seen as a bit of like a Raphael Nadal. Like loves yeah. The, yeah. loves the fist pump. Mitch, what was it like? Obviously, you play what seventy odd minutes, and then to watch from the from the sidelines. How did that feel? Obviously, you're out of the control there. You can't. You're not on the pitch to do it, but how good was that as, as a feeling? It was awesome, yeah. Obviously, it's tense being off the field. Uh, you can't really do much about it, but I knew about the boys to, to do a job, and, and they did, and obviously just with the bench there, obviously limbs, jinxy, Genji all going mad. Um, it was awesome, uh, especially seeing that drop goal go over. So, yeah, um, I loved every moment of that. And you mentioned already, boys, Twickenham felt... Not that it wasn't amazing against Wales, but it, that something was in the air, <laughs> it felt, yesterday. It felt like a special day, and it felt like the fans were... Unbelievable, I thought, yesterday. It was brilliant. From from the first minute, I mean, obviously, Deith, me and you were on the bench yesterday and you could feel the buzz yeah. um, building up even before kick-off and once that first whistle went, it was just, you know, the crowd was... 
I haven't, I haven't played in Twickenham when it's been like that before. It's been like truly amazing. It was awesome. Hopefully, hopefully a few more to come. Uh, right, I think we are now going to be joined with our new, a new feature. And we're going to have a video call. And I'm hoping we've got Chris from Surrey. He's going to pop up on our screens. Chris, if you are from Surrey, please start speaking now. Oh, look at <laughs> <it is. laughs> How are Here's you, Chris from Surrey. Christopher <laughs> Robshaw. Nice to see you. Sorry, mate. Can you well, say I'm that God. again, please? Can you it's really me? kind, Chris. Uh, you, you, is, are, you, are you in your, the east wing of your, of your palace <laughs> that you have out there in Surrey now? Something like that, yeah. I've moved out of London now. How are you, mate, more importantly, after yesterday? Yeah, I, I'm absolutely fine. It's not about me, Chris. I don't, well, it actually is. It is my show. <laughs> um, but, uh, mate, you were at Twickenham, I'm sure, yesterday, just for the, you know, for the, the love of the game. Uh, could you, we were just saying that it felt, it felt like a massive game. The crowd were unbelievable. Could you feel that from, from where you were sat? Yeah, I was. And I, was, I watched it kind of from behind where the drop goal went over. And that phase before I remember the whole Irish crowd got going and I've never seen so many Irish shirts at Twickenham. And they were so confident. They were so cocky. I was actually in a pre-match bit with Jamie Heaslip, who obviously I'm sure you guys all know what he said and had that kind of around the change room all week. Uh, and he was sticking to that point. Uh, but yeah, like the way you guys closed out that game for the final 90 seconds and then the drop goal, of course. Um, I've not seen Twickenham like it in a long, long time. Um, but also I think it's the way you guys played the whole game. You set your stall out early, you're attacking, um, and you've taken a lot of stick. And I think you've come out, you've stuck together well as a squad. And yeah, it's the best performance I think I've seen in a long, long time. It's almost like a motivational talk from Chris rather than a question. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I really like it, Robert. Um, yeah, for those of you that don't know, Jamie he's the, did say that Ireland would have to play with 13 or 14 men. For us to have a chance. Uh, sorry, Jamie. Uh, <laughs> I think you got that one wrong. Uh, Chris, do you have a question at all for for the lads? Have you got anything on the top of your tip of your tongue, maybe? Yeah, I just. I you think can a lot of people want to know. <laughs> <laughs> What's camp been like? You've been throwing a lot of curveballs. There's been a lot of heat coming your way, um, and the transformation in the squad has been absolutely brilliant. And I think the rugby people can see things are evolving and they are changing. Uh, but it, obviously you guys took a massive step forward yesterday. What's this message now? Going into France, they had a good win today. What's kind of, how do you go about backing that up? Great question. Um, thanks, Chris. Um, the atmosphere has <laughs> been, been fantastic. Um, I think we know, like, regardless if we win or lose a game, we're staying together. We know what we're doing on the training field's working, um, can take time. Um, but we know if we stick together, we stick to our processes and our game plan, it will, it will come to fruition. So, yeah, we've just got to stick in our group, uh, regardless of the noise, good or bad. Um, we know our back ourselves and, and we've got, we're a great squad, so we're going to push, push on to do more. Awesome. And Mitch, Chris, one more for you. Great to How see you, important. mate. I'll say, sorry, go on then, you run it, yeah. Like, Liz, like I said, he's had a really big day, he's been out of the England squad for a bit, he's come back in. But I know personally how infectious he is as a player and, and more importantly as a person to have around. What would you guys say? And obviously you looked up to him as a kid. How important has he been? He's, he's, he's been fantastic for me. Uh, I mean, people say don't, don't meet your idols and stuff, but he's actually a genuine bloke. He's just sat over there. But he's uh, awesome on the field with me, uh, teaching me so many things. And then off the field, he's, he brings a lot of energy. He's such a good lad. So to learn off someone like that, it's, it's just fantastic. So... Uh, yeah, he's been great. <laughs> what a boy. What a boy. <laughs> Thanks, Robbo. You great might win the shirt, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Cheers, thank thank you. you very much. Right, we're going to go straight into caller number two. And I think it's Pete from Yorkshire. And I, I'm going to guess <laughs> this is about to be my old school teacher, Pete from Yorkshire. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. No, well, he he is. Is. He he is. Uh, yeah, oh, he's, you're never he's wearing his England shirt and you've got a shirt in the background. Mr. Mr. Yeah, Pete Lave, this guy's a legend boy. This, this guy made me play rugby. I was, thought I was a footballer. Pete said, you're not good enough to do that. Come and try rugby. <laughs> <laughs> and there we are, Pete. How are you, mate? 100%.
Yeah, good evening, chap. It's, it's great to be uh, joining you. I'm, I'm honoured. I'm honoured as as I was uh, for what? How many years did you get through Henry's, uh, Danny? Yeah, it was a long time ago, mate. Yeah. <laughs> long time ago. Yeah. No, absolutely, totally honoured to uh, to see you, you guys, and uh, listen to the uh, the crack. I was in Dublin yesterday watching it in a sports bar. Nice. That must have been a nice place to be as an English fan. Yeah, a bit, bit of a weird thing, but your old, your old teachers, we found it so expensive coming down to Twickenham. It was cheaper to fly to Dublin and uh, get a good hotel and watch it in a sports bar and, and, and mix with the, uh, the fanatical Irish fans. I should have sent him a ticket, shouldn't I? That's, yeah. that's, <laughs> that's a hint. Really, that's a hint though. really poor from me, Pete. Maybe, maybe hey. on the two hundredth, Pete. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll send you a ticket. Yeah. Pete, have you got a question Danny. for the lads while we got you on, mate? Yeah, definitely. I, I, I want to know first of all whether Dan and Mitch are going to make a ton. Are well, these two are going to make a ton? Hundred caps, lads. What do you think? That's, that's tough ask. I'm twenty six already. Yeah. <laughs> You start, where you, what, when was your first cap? How old were you first cap? Uh, I can't remember, 22, 23 maybe? Yeah. Not too sure. Yeah, mate, well, mate, I'm still... Theo. Theo, though. Theo. Theo, oh, what, yeah. what, are we on, what are we on now? 11, 12. 11. And you're how old? 23. 23. Oh, there's a chance. There's, there's a chance. There's, there's a chance. There's a chance. There's a chance. <laughs> <laughs> if I was going to back someone, mate, I'd back you. Uh, Pete, have you got any more questions? Or do you want, do you want, I'll send you a shirt anyway, mate. I feel awful that you, that you had to fly to Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> And I didn't send you a ticket, so I am I am that, sorry, mate. Danny, you've got me many a ticket in the past, so you don't have to feel obliged. But um, we we were on our way back from uh, from Dublin this afternoon, and we thought if you hadn't fallen out with Eddie Jones, you might be near two hundred. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should have kept my mouth shut. Should I? <laughs> Never mind, Pete. Thanks so much for 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 dialing in, mate. Great to see you. Thank Thank you. Take care, mate. Cheers, have Pete. A, have a good evening again. Pete, well, proper Come legend, on. Pete. Proper legend, Pete. That's proper legend. Right, boys. Um, rem reminder, <coughs> quickly, just keep hashtagging, wear the rose, drop your questions in. You could win this shirt. It can't, I can't send it to Pete, Pete or Chris, because that's not fair. <laughs> so, uh, send your questions in. Um, best question is going to win this at the end of the show and the ball. Boys, right, Mother's Day today. What did you get for your mum, Theo? Oh, I popped home, surprised her. Oh, look! You at actually that. forgot. You told me it was. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's, forgot. Let's... She was like, "Oh, I need to drive home quickly because we're going to go for a coffee." Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. There may be some truth in that. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but you did. The go main home. thing is that I got home, surprised her. She didn't. She didn't think I was coming home. I yeah. said, "Oh, I'm going to go to Penny Hill." Next thing you know, bang on the door. Flowers. Surprise. Flowers in hand. So what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a cuddle, yeah? Oh, nothing better than a cuddle. Just a cuddle, yeah. Uh, Mitch, you do anything? I was organised, yeah. I sent some flowers and a card up. She's up in Manchester, nice. so it would have been tough to get up there, but yeah, and gave her a call this morning. So. Well done, mate. It's Thank nice you. guys. <laughs> they, are, they are nice guys. Uh, right, roomies, lads. Uh, Mitch, who's your roomie in camp, and what have they been like to room with? I've uh, Fraser Ding also known really well. Yeah. Good lad. Um, he does snore for the first five minutes, though, and then just stops. Right. It's really weird. Okay. Um, but he's a good roomie, tidy, looks after himself. So, yeah. Good dancer. Good, good dancer in a night out. Yeah, well, he actually he? is, yeah. Yeah, we'll have to get some footage of that next time, mm. if I'm allowed back on. So, <laughs> no pressure. Uh, Theo, roomie? George Martin. Oh. Got a good thing going, mate. Have you? Three weeks, actually four weeks on the bounce now. Yeah. Got a nice little thing going. We watch... Uh, Vikings, The Lost Kingdom, we just started that. That's great. Brilliant. Really, really good. Brilliant. You watch it together? Yeah, of That's course. really cute. Absolutely. Same bed or do you, do you go separate beds? Yeah, well, you, I mean, it's a bit impractical if you go separate beds. Okay. So you'd have to, you know, it does get a little bit tight in there. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's lovely. Um, boys, darts has been quite popular in camp at the minute. A few boys, there's been a few more 180s. Lads are hitting 180s left, right and centre. You darts, you dart, you're a darts player, mate. You throw a good I dart. I play a bit, yeah. I've not hit a 180 yet. No. But some of the boys smash it, like Dickie and, and some of the boys all got darts boards and stuff. Um, so I'm getting there, slowly getting there. Yeah. Uh, boys are loving the celebrations as well, the yeah, Van Gerwen yeah, and the Luke Littler. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's a big thing at camp now. It's huge, it's huge. Right, we've got another question coming. This has come from James C 1842 via Instagram. If you had to be another England player for the day, who would it be and why? Start with you, Theo. Oh, um, it'd be 
So I'd either go with oh, Mar Maro or Ches, okay. just to see what it feels like to be like six foot eight. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? Just to see, you know, you're looking down on everyone. Yeah, that yeah. must be a real good just feeling. Surveying the scene exactly. from a different angle. Um, or uh, Dicky, Luke Cowan Dicky, yeah. just to see what goes on in his head I because don't. he's just, <laughs> he's just. Yeah, I don't think you'll ever come back from that. <laughs> I've had, had a day in Dickie's head. Uh, Mitch, um, I would have said Courtney Laws. Yeah. Who's in camp for obvious reasons. Yeah. Um, but um, maybe yourself. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's oh. great energy. Or Tommy Freeman. He's not really got much going in upstairs, and he's always so happy. He's like a, he's like a, he's like a golden Labrador. Do you know what I mean? He's just always smiling. So it's like nice to be in his head for a bit. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> Two great. So Dicky and Fremo. I mean, anything, anything could happen. Right, <laughs> boys. We're going to get onto some more in a bit. But uh, this rose return this week, taking you behind the scenes here in camp. We went up north. It was brilliant. We went to York. Check this out. Yeah, being up in York's been uh, been good fun. We had obviously had an afternoon off this afternoon, so uh, quite a few boys went out and found a few decent coffee spots, and then a few of us headed to to York Minster, climbed up the t climbed up to the tower, which was which was nice. A few good views there. Probably a few too many steps for some of the boys. Stu barely fell up the staircase, so that was quite entertaining. But no, it was it's, it's been a nice city to walk around, to be fair. And I think it's quite nice that we can bring this up to the north. And obviously, we've got the open training session tomorrow, which should be good fun. And I, I guess we can showcase off some some, some training to, to some fans who don't necessarily get to, to see that side of things. That's a sneak peek of this rose. Head to the England Rugby YouTube to catch up and get the full episodes. Right. Should we play a game? Let's do it. Let's play games. So to inside line line, we're going to play the back to front game. I'm still at the bottom of the leaderboard. Second bottom is you, Theo. So some competition. There is some competition. Yeah, boys, you know the game. You get 20 seconds on the clock. The ball starts at the back, over the head to the front. You're going to go back to front, back to front as many times as you can. Freddie Stewart is top of the leaderboard, 19. I was here. It was it was sensational. Elliot Daly was awful before, got to 16. So Theo, this could be, this could be, this redemption. Could be your day. Can we get 20 seconds on the clock, please, Nate? We got it. Okay, three, two, one. Go, Theo. Go on, okay, Theo. one, two, three, four. Yes, using that big back of his five, six, seven off the Swede, eight. Yes, gathered it. Nine, keep going. Ten, eleven. 12. Oh! oh, 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 oh we are a camera. We are, we are a television down. Are we counting we that? Have lost, we have lost transmission on this. <laughs> it's live. It's live. These things can happen for you. Well done. You've broke a Samsung. Congratulations. Oh, what was the score there we got there? That night? Was it? We're going to count that last one. 12? Yeah, 12. 12. Well done, Theo. Round of applause. Yeah, you can just write. 12 down there, 12 Theo. Plus we're going to go camera. straight to Mitch here. Mitch, I've got, I've got good, good money on you here. I think you might, you might nail this. <laughs> Are we ready with the timer? Here we go. In three, two, one. Go, Mitch. One, two. It's a great start. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 Theo. He's got it. Okay. Okay, come on, Mitch. Here we go. There's three. There's... Oh, no. no. It, the interesting technique you got, me. <laughs> I like it. You look like a T-Rex. I'm not sure. I think that's eight, no. nine... 10, 11, keep going, 12, 13, <laughs> good hooter, good hooter, Mitch well, 13, which is the same, so you, you've saved yourself some writing, um, do I, shall I, shall I have a go for, yeah, the, yeah, for, for the last, the last time, okay, we'll have a go, just slap me in there, I'm a little bit nervous because I'm not very good at this, okay, are we ready, someone's going to have to count me in, I'm the host, so count myself, <laughs> three, three, two, two one, Okay. Oh, oh no. Come on, Danny. Three. Four. Pop it up there. Come on, one more. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 
No! Oh. Dead. 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 What are we saying now? What was 17? it? 17 was it? On, mate, Theo, could you could you do that for me please, big yep. picker? 17, yeah. Got a bit of a link to do here, but if you oh, there we go. <laughs> Don't you care. Throw me in 17 and throw me one above Elliot Daly. That feels nice. <laughs> That does feel nice. While you're doing that, mate, um, it's not just here on O2 Inside Line Live that we're getting to know the players. There's also the England Rugby podcast featuring our big hitter, Sam Underhill. Check this one out. I did enjoy the physicality of it. I think that was always the main appeal for me. I think, like, as with a lot of young guys, probably struggled with things like, you know, your confidence and your ability to express yourself. And, you know, you've got a load of feelings that you, you, you don't know what to do with. And... Going on a rugby pitch was always quite a good way of, of dealing with that stuff. So I think that's a, a big part of the motivation for me initially anyway to, to start playing and being good at it. In, in many ways, I think you've got to enjoy that the physical aspect, especially being a back rower or a forward in general. I think you've got to enjoy that part of the game. You're listening to the England Rugby Podcast, O2 Inside Line. I'm Sam Underhill. And wherever you listen to your pods, make sure you are subscribed to the England Rugby Podcast to get a new one every week. There's some good ones coming out as well. Right, a few more questions to win this shirt and the ball, boys. Then we're going to decide who was the best question. Here we go. This is from Cheese on YouTube. Great name, Cheese. <laughs> if you were to go professional in a different sport, what would it be and why? There you go, Mitch. Uh, I'd probably pick cricket. Good cricket, yeah, good all-round sportsman, be, this guy. Still a team sport and you follow the sun a bit, so uh, I think cricket would definitely be there for me. They get paid an obscene amount to go and... If you go to the IPL... Hit a ball. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, decent gig that, I think, yeah. isn't it? Theo? I'd say, can you change your body composition or not, you just as you are? Yes, I will allow it. <laughs> <laughs> what NBA. NBA? Yeah. Sick. I mean, how good would it be to slam dunk? Oh, Something I've never done. <laughs> Me and you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good question. Thank you. Cheese, great name as well. Uh, Kay Halliwell, maybe a relation to Jerry. She's had a tough time of it recently, hasn't she? Be uh, which previous player would you like to play with now? Anybody from the whole of time rugby? Um, Got the mic. Uh, <laughs> well, okay yes, then. Hey, you're gonna sing um, us out, are you? I think maybe someone like Jason Robinson. I mean, he was an awesome player, wasn't he? Just having that pace in your team um, would be would be awesome. Or someone like Johnny Wilkinson. I mean, another idol of mine playing with them just would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? So, yeah. it's, it's, how cool is it when he just comes and kicks yeah. the lads at the end? I'm of still the starstruck. Hello, Hello, Johnny. Hello. Hello, Johnny. Hello, I played with him. I'm saying. Uh, Theo, who would you, who would you choose? <sighs> Generic, but like same as you guys with Johnny. Like oh, yeah. when he comes and kicks, I'm there just sat on the stairs, feel like a little kid. Um, him or like Martin Johnson, like a nasty player. Yeah, You'd like love to play you alongside him, wouldn't you? And Jono would go well together. <laughs> uh, great question, Kay. Thank you. Um, Emily Clubley on YouTube. It's actually quite sad, but it's going to make Mike make us a bit sad. What are you going to miss the most about camp after this is our last week together? Oh. Um, I think obviously always being with the boys and just the chat around camp, you have the pool, the darts going, uh, is what I miss. Um, and also the spa. The spa is outstanding here. Um, <laughs> loads of saunas, steam rooms, jacuzzis outstanding. So, yeah, I miss that. Yeah, yeah. we do work hard as well. <laughs> uh, but the spa is, it is very it, nice, it's yeah. five star. It really, <laughs> it really is. Theo, what about you? The what about the cook? Like the I was going to say the food is just sensational. Mm. Our chef Tommy is just... Today we had roast, oh, and it was just, the potatoes were just oh, sensational, weren't they? Mate, the, the crispness. <laughs> just perfect. <laughs> and, <laughs> and the gravy accentuated them in oh, such a way. In such a it? way. Oh, oh my so God. Oh. It was incredible. Oh, I think we do, we do, we are living in such a bubble here, though. It is so much, we have so much fun. We obviously work hard, we have so much fun, but I, I think it's things like washing. You know, you put your washing in a bag, and the next day it's just there, like... Yeah. It's like magic. It is like magic. <laughs> and there's food. It, it's, it's a lot. Right. Thank you so much for all these questions. I have chosen a winner. And it was the, it was the, it was the very last question. Emily Clubley from YouTube. 
for your question, you are going to win the signed shirt and the signed ball. So round of applause. Well done. Uh, we're going to sign, we'll sign that for you and send that to you, Emily. Uh, if you live in the UK, we've talked about this before, if you, <laughs> if you live in Denmark, we can't send it to you. It costs too much money, okay? And they're paying these boys too much. So, uh, boys, last couple of ones from and myself. Last couple of ones from me. Uh, one game left, boys. We're off to France on Thursday. We spent a lot of time in France, the World Cup. Like, how amazing is this going to be to to hopefully finish off the Six Nations? It's going to be brilliant. Uh, as you said, like we spent how long? Two, three months in France for the World Cup, and that experience was just amazing. Like the country. At the moment, it just feels like it's breathing rugby um, after the World Cup. Apparently, there's a bit of a you know a bounce in the club game in France, um, and yeah, it's just going to be special. Even if it's not Stade de France, it's something new this yeah. year. It's Lyon, um, and yeah, we just uh, personally, I can't wait. And you speak you speak some French, don't you? I dabble, yeah. Are you fl are fluent? Oh, I would say bit. fluent. Come on, just a tiny bit. Could you give me just give us something? <laughs> how excited you are to play this weekend in in French would be huge. <laughs> um, Another sentence. <laughs> uh, yeah, how much do you love rugby, Theo? J'adore le rugby. Yes, oh, <laughs> fluid, fluid. Really? <laughs> fluid. Mitch, excited for France? It's going to be a hell of a game. Yeah, very excited, mate. Um, playing in France is all, always awesome. The atmosphere is always great. Um, and they're a top side as well, so uh, we don't want to get too ahead of ourselves uh, from last weekend. Um, but yeah, I can't wait. And obviously got a chance to actually maybe win the, the championship as well. So um, yeah, I can't wait, mate. Boys, you've been amazing. Round of applause for Theo. That. Thanks, uh, that's it from us here in camp. Thank you so much for all your support. Please continue to follow the England Rugby socials. Use the hashtag Wear the Rose. Before we head off to France, here's a little reminder of yesterday's win at Twickenham.